no part of the plan. Yeah, this really is all part of the plan, isn't it, Vecna? You know, I don't think I've been... I'm not too hyped for this killer because I don't play Dunge Dungeons & Dragons. I don't really play any of Dungeons & Dragons games, and I don't, I've don't. i not played the board game. Uh, I think the closest thing I've had to Dungeons & Dragons was, honestly, Stranger Things, really. But yeah, guys, you see all the blood points I have. Also, I just realized it's a... Um, there's a blood hunt on. Didn't even notice. Well... I don't, don't think I'll need to use, don't think that blood hunt will matter to me, but yeah, I got all these blood points here. Um, I got, no, I actually don't have any challenges in the archives to claim, but I've got some daily rituals to claim. But uh, yeah, we're going to spend all these blood points on Vecna. Oh, oh wow, we actually still talked. Okay, fair enough. Well guys, it's about time that behaviour finally added Thanos to this game. I know a lot of Dungeons and Dragons fanboys are gonna be pissed off with me making that joke, but I'm I'm gonna I couldn't resist making the joke anyway. But yeah guys, as you can see, Vecna from Dungeons and Dragons is in Dead by Daylight. Also, what is that on his neck? What is um, I, I don't know. I I have no idea. But yeah, guys, new killer. We got Vecna from Dungeons and Dragons in this game, in in the game. And honestly, I've not been too hyped for this killer. Not because I don't like him, or I don't. It's not because I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's just because I'm not into it. I I don't like invest time into Dungeons and Dragons or any any anything like that. If you know what I mean. But it's. It's cool, honestly. I think this is cool, and I've seen what he looked like on the PCB and his power, and he looks, honestly, he looks really cool, so I'm excited to play him. But yeah, like with every new killer that comes out, I'm going to do a showcase on him. I'm going to show off his power, his perks, to try to show off his perks, the Mori, and yeah, we're going to have a good time. So what is his power called? Can't even see it. It's called, I think it's called Vile Darkness. I'm pretty sure if I go into the store, it will tell me. Um... Now if we just go on here, there it is, yeah, Vile Darkness. So basically, the Lich, as he's called in this game, has four powers in one. He can select up to four different types of powers in this game to use. Mage Hand, Flight of the Damned, Dispelling Sphere, and Fly. And fly? So Fly will briefly move faster and ignore Vaults and Pallets. Oh, damn. Dispelling Sphere casts a moving invisible sphere that reveals survivors and temporarily disables magic items. That's nice. Flight of the Damned conjures five flying entities that pass through obstacles and injure survivors, as long as they don't crouch. And Mage Hand creates a magical hand that lifts down pallets or blocks upright pallets for four seconds. Okay. But survivors can get magic items. Can get special items. So they can get the interlopo, when magic hand is used, reveals auras of afflicted pallets and they applies haste for three seconds. Ooh, that's kind of scary. The night watch reveals auras of the skeletons for flight of the damned. Okay. The arc, the archivist, I hope I said that right, makes the spelling sphere visible. 
The Sky Guard reveals the Lich's aura during fly and for a few seconds after. Okay, that's fine. And there's also two other special items that survivors can get, which is the Hand of Vecna and the Eye of Vecna. And the Hand of Vecna, when a survivor fast vaults into a locker, they could teleport away to the furthest locker away from them, which is kind of fun. And the Eye of Vecna, so when they fast vault into a locker and they exit, um, Survivor's aura is hidden and grants 12 and g gives them haste for 12 seconds. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure they turn invisible as well with the eye of Vecna. I'm pretty sure. Alright, now to get Vecna's perks. Alright, let me just do the search bar. Alright. Let's equip them. There we go. Okay. So, Dark Arrogance. So, increases the duration. You are blinded by any means and increases duration of pallet stuns by 25%. Oh, God. But increases regular vault speed by 25%. Ah, oh, that perk's kind of crap, isn't it? Next one. Languent Touch. Any survivor within 36 meters of me who scares a crow, they gain the exhausted status effect for 10 seconds. And this perk goes on a, has a 20-second cooldown. 20-second cooldown? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays in game. And I hope they I get the notification for when they trigger the crow. Do you know what I mean? Weave attunement. So when a survivor depletes item for the first time, it is dropped. And I see the auras of dropped items. Survivors within 12 meters of dropped items have their auras revealed to me. When a survivor picks up a survivor item, they suffer from the oblivious status effect for 30 seconds. Okay, that's probably his best perk. Okay. Uh, dark Arrogance. Uh, not a fan. Languid Touch. Seems okay. Weave Attunement. But his best perk. Seems pretty fun. Um, his add-ons. I've actually not gone through his add-ons. Have I got all his add-ons? Yeah, I've got all his add-ons. So let's go from brown to pink. So, Trickster's Glove. Oh my god. Did um, Vecna kill the Trickster finally? <laughs> Someone killed him. Increases the time Mage Hand holds a pallet up by 0 0.5 seconds. Ooh. That, that actually might be good. I like the sound of that. Tattered Headband. Increases the distance of Flight of the Dam's spectral entities by 4 meters. What does that mean? Does that mean they go fast? They go further than normal? I think that's what it means. Yeah, they go four meters further. Okay. I, I think that's what it means anyway. Raven's Feather increases duration of the fly spell by 0 0.5 seconds. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Hey, how long do you fly for? Okay, it doesn't say. Crystal Ball. When a survivor is revealed by a dispelling sphere, the killer instinct effect lasts for an additional three seconds. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, I think this is probably the worst of the brown add-ons, but it's still nice. Ring of Telekinesis decreases the time it takes Mage Hand to lift a pallet by 35%. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, that sounds good. Ring of Spell Storing decreases the cooldown of all spells by 4 seconds. Okay, that sounds, that sounds like his best add-on already. Potion of Speed decreases the period where you cannot attack. After casting fly by 0 0.5 seconds. Oh yeah, because when you end the spell, when you end the fly spell, you won't be able to attack for a brief moment. But this, with this, you'll be able to attack quicker. Okay, that sounds nice. Lantern of Revealing reveals the aura of survivors nar narrowly missed by Flight of the Dam for three seconds. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Glass Eye increases the size of the Spelling Sphere by 2 meters and its movement speed by 10%. Bro, that sounds good, that. That actually sounds really good. Okay. Staff of Withering. The Spelling Sphere causes the Exhausted Status Effect for 20 seconds to survivors who enter its radius. Why is that green? That should be purple. Wow. Okay. Um, Pearl of Power. Reduces the remaining cooldown of your spells by 5 seconds each time you land a basic attack. What? Excuse me? I, I, no, actually, excuse me. What? 
So any time I hit someone with a basic attack, I get my spells back quicker. What? What? Why is that green? Why the hell is this add-on green? Okay. Ornate Horn increases the number of entities created by Flight of the Damned by one. Wait, does it say how many skeletons? Conjure five entities. So with this, you'll have six. Okay. Okay. Cloak of Elven Kind reduces ter terror radius by eight meters while the fly spell is active. Oh! I like the sound of that. Okay. That sounds nice. I don't think I'll run it, but that sounds like um, a good add-on to have if you're doing a, a, um, a stealth build. Run that with Monitor and Abuse. Okay, okay. Boots of Speed. Casting Mage Hand grants a 5% haste for 2 seconds. Hmm, okay. Okay. Robe of Eyes. Reveals the auras of survivors within 6 meters of a treasure chest for 3 seconds each time you cast the spell. Hmm, this one seems like a gamble add-on. Because you don't know if survivors are going to be near chests or not. This one seems like a gamble. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Still nice, though. Still nice. Dragon Tooth Dagger applies hemorrhage and mangled status effects to survivors hit with a basic attack while holding a magic item for 45 seconds. Okay, so if they have a magic item and I hit them, they'll have Sloppy Butcher. Okay. Cloak of Invisibility grants undetectable for 10 seconds each time all... Your spells are on cooldown at the same time. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like... Having undetectable is nice, but the fact that it ha you have to have it when all your spells are on cooldown, I don't like that. Nah, I don't like that. Bag of Holding. Two treasure chests are guaranteed to roll one on the dice roll. Opening treasure chest grants the oblivious status effect to survivors for 15 seconds. That sounds funny. So, guaranteed, I will have two Mimics. I could just have two Mimics. <laughs> That's pretty good, funny. Alright, and now for his pink add-ons. Volpal Sword. Oh my god, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the Volpal Sword. Any injured survivor that enters a dispelling sphere screams and gains broken for 30 seconds. Using a, the Mage Hand spell on a downed pallet breaks that pallet in 3 seconds. Ooh, that's nice. That's really good. I like that. Okay. All right. Iridescent Book of Vile Darkness. Oh my god. That's a mouthful. That. That's a. That's an absolute mouthful to say. <laughs> anyway, using the fly spell to pass through any vault location blocks that location for survivors for forty-five seconds. That's a long time. Lowers the number of spectral entities created by. Flight of the dams by three seconds and makes them fly lower to the ground. So they won't be able to duck underneath the skeletons. They'll just get hit either way. So you're, But you're limited to two unless you combine this with the ornate horn and you have three. That actually seems like a good combo. That seems like a dirty combo to run. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what add-ons I'll be using, but I will tell you is when I actually load into a game. And yeah, just like always, we're going to be running with the juicy Ebony Mori to show off the Mori. I'm pretty sure Vecna has two Moris, if I'm correct. If one of them gets the eye or the hand of Vecna, then there's a second Mori. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. But anyway, with all that said and done, and explained, let's get into a game. I'm going to load into a custom game with my friends, and we're going to test out the Lich. Here we are, guys. Forgotten Ruins, the decimated Borgo. Alright, so, I'm playing with four of my friends right now, and the add-ons I've chose is the Ring of Store and something, where it, I get my powers back quicker, like four seconds quicker, and the Bag of Holden, so the survivors have a chance of getting a one, rolling a one. Okay, that is creepy. What the? Is someone down here? Who? What? Who am I following here? Oh, hi! Alright, so, cast fly. 
R2. Let's go! Oh, they teleported away. Oh my lord. Okay, survival darkness. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh god, the voice is on a gen. That's not good. Hello. We're gonna use Mage Hand this time. Oh! Look, someone got trapped in a mimic. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh, that was good. I like the chase music. All right, let's try. Got ya. Someone got injured, huh? Was that from a... Was that from a uh, thingy? A mimic? All right, let's throw you on a hook. Go. Anyone here? Yep. Hello. Get your backside back here, my friends. Well. Oh, the mimic! I'm pretty sure I can pull you out of that. Yeah, I can. All right, but I think I'm lagging. I apologize in advance to my friends. Your life slips away. Hello there. Yes! Come here, fishy fishy. Alright. I'll hook you and then I'm gonna go explore the dungeon. Okay, they were healing. Matt Mercer. Right, let's go explore the dungeon, eh? Oh, wow, that's so cool! What the? What is this? How does he break power? He generate? That's cool. What are you doing? I don't like you. Okay, so yeah, Spell and Sphere. What we'll do is we'll cast it to go that way. Oh, that is massive, that. Why did he keep going for a mimic? Yes. Perfect. Excuse me. <laughs> Doing gens is illegal. I'm going to fly over to that generator. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wild act. Oh, they go in deep wounds. Okay, so that. Make you suffer for that. Oh, someone just picked up the hands of Vecna. You got boots on. So wait, what does the boots signify? I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. That's so good. That's so good. I think Mage Hand is my favorite. I've not hooked someone. Who have I not hooked? Okay. Maybe it's the obsession. Like this. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna use Mage Hand again. Oh, actually, no, I'm going for you. I haven't got you yet, so I guess I'll go for you. I know they opened the chest then. But it's okay. Uh, we'll use... Oh, hello. I was going to say we'll use Flight of the Damned, but nah, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see where the hooks are in this map, eh? Oh, there's a hook right in front of me. Good, okay. Oh, 
Oh, what's down here? Oh, this is a torture chamber. Ugh. And this is the way out of here, I'm guessing. Yep. That's so cool, that. That is. Who do you think you are? Yes! I'll leave you alone. Oh, you want to use that pallet? Well, it's tough. <laughs> oh my god, Vecna is so cool. I like Vecna a lot. I, I know I've been playing, I don't know how long I've been playing for, but holy crap, this killer is so fun. Right, will you see? I'll just use that. <laughs> Apologies. For the tunnel. Break that. I'm pretty sure there was a portal room. A portal in here. Hello. I'll hit ya. Where's the other ash tree? I'll leave you alone. There you are! You, you've got the hands! Give me that back right now! <laughs> nah. I messed that one up. That is mine. Give me back my hand, you son of a bitch. This way? Yeah. Right, we'll send this off that way. See if that'll detect them. Oh. Yeah. Right, the other sable is the one I've not hooked yet, so I guess I'll go for them. Of many eyes. Vecna's voice is beautiful. Hello. Yeah. Oh, shh, Nikes. Joy. You like my fast vault, boy? Oh, that's a window? Where are we? What is this part of the map? What is this? Okay, the cooldown for this perk. We've, we've attunements, I think? No, it's not. That's the, um... I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. Oh, no! I didn't realize you were dead! I could have married them. Damn. My mistake. That's illegal. Oh, you little twerp. Wow, I actually got him. I actually got them. Right, it's the obsession that I was supposed to get. Damn. You. Yeah. Get here now. Wonderful. This killer is so fun. This killer is like, I, I'm, I'm having so much fun with this killer. Oh. I'm having way too much fun with this killer. All right. Now, question is, how the hell do I get out of here? Can I, wait, can I bring you with me here? No, okay. Right, through here. Yeah, you're gonna wiggle off here. Yeah. I've nowhere to hook you. Okay, I do now. Ah! 
Yeah. <laughs> got you now. Right. Let's get you. I wasted time there. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, I know. I noticed the knights. It's this one for me. Do you want to? No. <gasps> what? I wait. I can pull them off that. Okay, that's cool. I did not know that I could pull them off that. Right, it's time for the Mari. Damn, that's a good Mori. Okay, this one, yep. Yeah. I will send it that way. This must be the library. Aha! Hello. Where's my friend? You okay there? <laughs> Ah, I'll leave you alone. I just, you just got unhooked. I need the spell and sphere back. Okay, we'll cast it to go there. Yeah, it's gonna get you, but not my. F I hear him. Oh, you're right there. Okay. <laughs> you pretty teleported. Well, I'm not giving up that chase that easily. Get here now. I keep pressing the wrong button. Blah. Yes, I'm here to do my documents. <laughs> right. Reco wait, recover artifacts? <gasps> Bruh. Bruh. What? She just teleported upwards. Okay. Oh, she's over there. Okay. How the fuck do I get out of here? Here we go. Oh, the hatch is here. Cast it to go that way. Nice dog. <laughs> Alright, GG's. You will make a wow, Vector is really fun. I don't know how strong he's gonna be, but holy crap, he is fun. If I had to place him somewhere on my tier list, by the way, in the, um, like, you guys know how I made that tier list of how fun it is to play killers. I would definitely put him in the mostly fun category. He would probably be... Oh, where about would I put him in mostly fun? Probably above West. He'd definitely be above Wesker. But I, d I don't know. I don't know about the other ones. But man, Vecna is really fun to play, at, play as. In terms of how, he, how fun he is to play against, I don't know. I don't know, but that was a lot of fun. Thanks to my four friends for being a part of this. This is really fun this is really fun to do and i look forward to doing more of these wait what the fuck is that i've not seen okay that must be fun when you actually buy the dlc okay fair enough but damn that was a lot of fun gg well played guys
And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you, hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.